Welcome to Looking at the Markets with David Modell. Today we're going to talk about what is the pattern day trader rule and how can I get around the pattern day trading rule. Let's talk about it. The pattern day trading rule put into effect in 2001 places limits on stock and option buying and selling for people with margin accounts who want to trade multiple times during the trading day. It was put into effect by FINRA, which is the Financial Industry Regulatory Authority. The following are excerpts regarding the rule found on FINRA's website on August 8, 2016. So let's see what FINRA has to say about it. Quote, you will be considered a pattern day trader if you trade four or more times in five business days. Now let me explain that. When I say trade, when they say trade, they mean four, we're talking about four same day round trip trades of the same security. All right, so I'll give you an example to help clarify it. Let's say you uh, you buy Apple stock, all right, and then the same trading day, during the same trading day, you sell it. That's one round trip. I call it a round trip, all right? So they're talking about uh, you buy and then you sell. That's one, they consider that one trade. Also, if you were to short sell Apple stock and then buy it back or cover your short the same day, the same trading day, that would also be considered one round trip trade or one trade. All right. And if you make one round trip trade, either buy and sell or short and then cover your short, Within, if you do that within the same trading day, same trading day, that's considered one trade. Now, buying today and then selling tomorrow is not considered a day trade. And also, short selling today and then covering your short tomorrow, again, that would not be a day trade. They're talking about each time you do it, you do it within the same day. All right, and and it has to be the same, the same security that you're buying and selling that same day, okay, or shorting and covering the same day. So, meaning four same day round trip trades of the same security within five business days, and if your trading, if your day trading activities are greater than six percent of your total trading activity for that same five day period, a pattern day trader must maintain minimum equity on any day of $25,000 on any day that the customer day trades. So I'll paraphrase that in my own words again. Um, if you make uh, more than three round trip trades, okay, round, round trip same day trades of the same security every time. If you do that within five business days, then you're considered a day trader, according to FINRA. And if you do that, you have to have $25,000 in your account, in that trading account. It doesn't have to be all cash. You can have cash and stocks or cash and options or cash and cash and stock and options worth $25,000 altogether in that trading account as long as it adds up to 25,000. All right, so does that include options? Yes. This includes options, not just stocks. According to the FINRA website, the day trading margin rule applies to day trading in, in any security including options, so it's stocks and options. Does it include short selling? Yes, we discussed that already. Um, 
as with current margin rules, all short sales must be done in a margin account. If you sell short and then buy to cover on the same day, and we're talking about the same security, of course, it's considered, considered a day trade. What happens if you violate the rules? What, what happens if you, within the same account, if you don't have $25,000 uh, worth of cash and equities in that account, and then you uh, day trade more than three times within five business days, what happens? Well, noncompliance has consequences. If the account falls below the $25,000 requirement, you will not be permitted to day trade until you deposit cash or securities in the account to restore the account to the $25,000 minimum equity level. So you'll be barred from day trading until you come up with more cash or stocks, options, whatever, equities. You've got to fill up that, that particular account up to at least $25,000 in value. Otherwise, in that account, uh, you'll be barred from day trading. That's the uh, that's the consequence, and so it places a pretty pretty big restriction on people with smaller account sizes who want to day trade, who want to uh, trade the same security uh, multiple times within the same account uh, within or during the business day. So let's say you want to get around around this rule, uh, and you want to be legit about it. You want to <laughs> you want to stay within the rules, and yet you want to kind of work around the rules. Well, there are ways to do it. So if you want to do frequent day trades, and you don't have twenty five thousand dollars in your trading account, because that would be the easiest way is to just deposit more money, or stocks or options into your trading account, get it up to the $25,000 level. That's one way to get around it, but let's say you don't have that much uh, to work with. You don't have $25,000. So how can you get around this rule? Well, I found four ways, and there are probably other ways. There might be other ways, but these are the four that I found to be the most common and probably the easiest. And none of these are really easy, but they're in my opinion, the easiest ways. Uh, and you could do any of these or, or a combination of these. One, you could use a cash account instead of a margin account. Because if you look back at the rule, let's go back a little bit. Um, this is for margin accounts, margin accounts only. Accounts. So there's a disadvantage to this though you yeah see you would not be able to do any short selling uh, since you need a margin account to short sell so uh, the good thing about the cash account is that um, you know that you don't have that uh, day trading rule or restriction you're not using any margin here you're just using your own cash you're, you're only spending money that you actually have in cash you're not borrowing any money on margin or you know any capital on margin and so that allows you to buy and sell uh, within the same trading day multiple times without having to worry about the day trading rule but if you're interested in doing short selling as a day trader then this would not work for you but if you're only going to go long okay or you know let's say instead of short selling uh, you could buy puts if you want to make a bet that the uh, that a, a stock will go down let's say you don't have to short sell you can you can buy put options and that would not be considered shorting that would be considered a, a purchase uh, another method is to use multiple brokers this is probably the easiest way actually I think if you don't have uh, a lot of cash, if you don't have $25,000 in your account, uh, here's what you can do. Use multiple brokers and every five business days do up to three, no more than three, round trip day trades in each brokerage account. 
All right. So if you have two brokerage accounts, then uh, you'd be able to do three day trades in, in each account. And so for, for that would be a total of six uh, day trades within five business days. If you had two different, if you had accounts at two different brokers, if you have accounts at three different brokers, then you'd be able to do three plus three plus three, which would be nine uh, day trades within five business days. You would just have to do up to three per, per broker or, or per account. So, you know, there are, there are only so many brokers out there, <laughs> but uh, if you open up uh, three or four or five different accounts in, in you know, multiple, I, I'm saying if you open a, a, an account at, at three or four or five different brokers, uh, then you'd be able to do more day trades. Another method is to use offshore accounts. Uh, for example, uh, you know, outside of the United, United States, uh, because FINRA uh, would not have control necessarily over the offshore accounts like it would uh, over United States accounts. But if you're considering doing that, please be careful and do your research first. Uh, you know, because offshore accounts, uh, you know, that, that could be tricky business. So please be careful with that. And another way to get around this rule is to trade futures instead of common stock or options uh, because the pattern day trader rule uh, applies to uh, stocks and options, but not to futures. And so, you know, if you're interested in trading futures instead of stocks or options, uh, you might look into that. But again, please be careful and do your research first. Uh, futures uh, can be tricky business. Um, you know, just because you understand how to trade stocks or options doesn't mean that you necessarily understand how to trade futures. It's it's different. All right, so uh, be careful if you're going to do that. The takeaway is that maybe you like the rules, or maybe you don't like the rules. But if you're going to succeed as a trader you'll need to understand the rules and learn how to make best make the best of the situation all right and if you'd like help with this or if you'd like to put together a trading plan uh, if you want some assistance uh, with uh, finance stocks options trading or investing please feel free to contact me my email address is david modell and that last name is m o a d e l david modell at gmail.com. If you like this video, uh, by all means, please uh, give it a thumbs up, uh, leave a comment. You can let me know what you'd like to see in future videos. And if you could subscribe to my channel, that would be great. I'd really appreciate that because then uh, you can receive updates on the latest educational materials that I'll put out. So thank you so much, and I hope to hear from you soon.